EMS providers must quickly identify and manage critical gastrointestinal conditions. The abdominal cavity containing multiple organ systems can present a wide range of GI issues, from minor to life-threatening. The GI tract from the mouth to the anus processes nutrients, water, and waste. It begins with mastication in the oral cavity, where saliva starts carbohydrate breakdown. Food moves down the esophagus into the stomach for further digestion. The chyme then enters the small intestine for nutrient absorption before being solidified in the large intestine and excreted. Due to the large number of structures involved, numerous medical conditions can arise from the GI system. Most of them are not life-threatening. However, there are several presentations that warrant an immediate medical evaluation and possible intervention to reduce poor outcomes. GI bleeding causes include peptic ulcers, gastritis, esophageal varices, and Mallory Weiss tears. Symptoms of significant bleeding include visible blood in vomit or stool, which may appear bright red or dark, tar-like. Rapid blood loss can lead to hypovolemic shock, requiring airway management and fluid resuscitation. Peritonitis. Infection of the peritoneum can result from conditions like liver disease, peritoneal dialysis, or GI organ rupture. It presents with severe abdominal pain, fever, and possible sepsis. Immediate treatment includes fluid replacement and possibly antibiotics. Acute mesenteric ischemia. Reduced blood flow to the intestines, often from a thrombus or embolus, causes severe abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. It can lead to bowel infarction and sepsis if untreated. Bowel obstruction. Blockages cause abdominal swelling, pain, constipation, or diarrhea. Severe cases may result in fecal vomiting or systemic infection. Pancreatitis. Inflammation of the pancreas from gallstones, alcohol use, or other causes presents as upper abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. It may lead to sepsis or SIRS. While many GI disorders are non-life-threatening, rapid identification and management of serious conditions can improve patient outcomes.